the last two weeks. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, oh, oh, we are we are live. <laughs> Hello. Hi, hi, people. We are live. Welcome to the pre-show. We're not doing much. <laughs> As you can note, as you can see, we have a sexy new uh, uh, overlays. Yes, our overlays are quite awesome. Hey, who's watching the stream and uh, not muting it? Uh? It's Wenchen, right? <laughs> no. Don't have the stream on. Oh no, it's Nazrin. Oh no, I think oh, it's me. Nazrin, dirty fella. <laughs> <laughs> what's, that, what's that thing on your on your on your left side, Nazrin? Oh, it's a microphone. It's oh. <laughs> <laughs> it does not look like a microphone. Yeah, does that record your internal sounds? <laughs> oh, gross! I don't know. I don't want to know where that's been, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and poison. Uh, uh. Right. So, okay, it's five of us. Vernon will be joining us. Oh, you know what? When Vernon comes, he's gonna see all. Ayo, he's not gonna see our overlays. So la <laughs> later, when we do the sign out, we'll switch out all the overlays, and he'll feel extremely left out. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't come on time. Aww. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't come on time. Ah, wait, who's listening to the stream? We. Me, me, me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if Aishan X is... Oh, he's not joining us, unfortunately. Sorry, Gabby. You can't, we can't like, pimp you out today. Uh, no, it's okay. Really. <laughs> <laughs> your, oh, your kindness is not necessary. Are you, uh, are you looking for a man, Gabby? No comment. <laughs> or, or a boy? <laughs> you keep a boy or a man? Uh, man. <laughs> the funny thing is, we can still see like uh, our two producers, the 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 silhouettes. Lady boy, man boy, man boy cake, man. Girly man. <laughs> Girly man. Yeah, man boy cake. No, I do not want a man boy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Don't judge if you like a woman girl. No, I don't want those two. All right. So, okay. I don't know. This is probably going to be... This is a... Yeah, so if everyone's got their chat open. Okay. One. One. <laughs> People are going to be wondering, like, uh, what's going on here? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, Aishan X3 is not joining us. We have 25 viewers. Hello. 25 25. viewers. Oops. Hello, 25 viewers. We'll we'll start in a second. Uh, hello to Seng Kin, Kevin Tan Hong An, and NAQD. Uh, thanks for joining us. Okay, guys. Set. Uh, feel free to tweet out like that we are um, going live in like one minute because like you know what nobody uh, that we have like 25 people on in chat right now mm -hmm. I, I don't know whether it's live or not Jeez. well technically we're already live it's just yeah, like we're I mean, starting I, the show yeah uh, update automatically yeah okay uh, Chapri Chapri is actually behind the scenes today. He's uh, our producer today. So uh, if anything doesn't go well, it's Chapri's fault. So Yay. if you have dead air, it's Chapri's fault. So we have two producers today. So uh, hopefully we're going to be a bit more professional. Professional. Yeah. <laughs> oh, his name is Na Q Q I D Nafid. Uh, oh, Sh Sh we have heard it. Oh, we have Vernon. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Wow, oh, somebody wow. Where are you logging Vernon? in from a fancy location. Wow, there's a twin towers. Hey, hey, hey. Check out the twin towers. Hey, Vernon, 
Have you seen our Have you seen our uh, overlays? Are you jealous yet? I am very jealous. Where's mine? Huh? <laughs> you gotta download the app. In the Photoshop, bro. <laughs> We're actually holding up cards. Yeah, you cannot see if we're holding up cards. Wait, you see, look. That sucks. <laughs> no, you, you install an app called uh, Hangout Lower Thirds from the app section of uh, Hangouts. So this is uh, Vernon Chan, the biggest noob, who has no overlay. Haha. <laughs> Do I have to restart my browser? Mm, I don't think so. No, no, you don't. You don't. No, you don't. You don't. Alright. <coughs> so, Vernon, uh, we'll, right wait now. For, we'll wait for you to uh, figure out this <laughs> this overlay thing. So, I'm not a noob. I don't so want to do it. Where are you? Uh, I see. Is that pavilion behind you? Yes, it is. Where are you, actually? I just came. Uh, it's in coffee club. Oh, so Atas. I went to uh, Pacific Coffee, but they're going to close at 10, so it's still oh, going to make sense. Are you, uh, what's your, how are you tahaning the internet? Sorry? What's, what internet are you using? I'm using Yes 4G, the fastest uh. in the world. <laughs> when you cut out, I know why. <laughs> you ran out. No credit, I bet you're going to run out of credit halfway. No, it's auto reload. Whoa! Whoa. That's near. Nice. Then your bank accounts are going to be empty, so okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's okay. Rich people are like this. <laughs> okay, hello, 34 people. We've got 34 people. 34 uh, people. Vernon, I want, uh, you need to open a chat as well, so you'll know what's going on. Okay. okay. Let's see how long it takes for Vernon yeah, to figure out. Yeah. <laughs> Whether you can figure out the layout. Your, your text my, my street lower cred is on, the, is on the line now. Yeah, man. I'm designing my lower third, so shut up. It's okay. Uh -oh. so <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, true, uh, true art. Vernon takes, takes as long to do the lower thirds as uh, he does to answer questions. We're going to be here all night. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, hello, Froza, Lexagon. Hello. Hello, Winchard. Hi. Hello, <laughs> Red Killer. Hello, Sharia Yusuf. Uh, he wants to know what we're talking about. Uh, yeah, you find out later. Lah. Very simple. Ayo. <laughs> oh, hey, and Double High says handsome. I don't know which one is handsome. Okay. Uh, oh my god, he actually has a V prepared. What? Look at him. We are. Pow. Powered by. Alright, alright. How much did that cost? How much did that cost? Yeah, man. Sponsored, uh, yes. It cost 68 ringgit auto reload. Oh. Oh. Hey, please check your balance to see how much you have. You see, look, he is like frozen. I'm not frozen. Yes, yes, 4G for you. Vernon Leng Jai. KLCC. Oh, yes. Very nice. I've got the best view in the house. So, uh, Vernon, do you have the chat bar, sidebar open so you know what's going on? I do. Alright. Okay, so I guess we're going to start to how many people do we have? Mr. Producer, please let me know how many people do we have. Uh, Mr. Producer, how many people are online now? I like how Chapri is in the Jerobu of Indonesia. Right? <laughs> Polling numbers. People are, are people like wondering what the hell you're doing? And Nazrin is double Nazrin it's now. Faded. Why, why is there two of you? There's two Nazrins. I don't know. My coffee is yeah. here. <laughs> Produce last 50% share. Okay. Get, get your... This is for Gabby. Hey, get oh, your good one. Out. Thank you. Ooh, earphones is works. All right. So let me close. No cookie. Oh, I want a cookie. Everyone, turn on your browser cookies. <laughs> oh, 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 that's okay, less people. lame. So let's start. I'll go and eat. Okay, hi. So anyway, welcome uh, to... I'm mean, look serious. I'm scared. I'm mean, very serious. Welcome to Laya... This week, or this two weeks on Laya.net, episode three. 
Yeah, we have episode three, as you can tell. We have a uh, sexy new overlays. Uh, and yeah, thanks to Google, I guess. I mean, I was just talking about this, and suddenly, bam, we have all this. Wow, that's awesome. So as you can see, yeah, come and say lunchy. Uh, I'm going to introduce my guest this week. Uh, I'm going to start from all the way at the other end with Mr. Amin Ashari. Mr. Amin Ashari, a.k.a. Soya Chinchow, and Mr. Potty Mouth. Mr. Potty Mouth Amin Ashari. Say hi, Amin. Hello, everybody. <laughs> hi. I will try to... Not be a potty mouth tonight. That's good. That's good. <coughs> is your is your kid around? I mean, ah uh, no, it's bedtime. Okay, that's good. You know, responsible parenting. Uh, <laughs> next we have Mr. Chan Wenshun, the part-time Ultraman. How are you, Wenshun? Hello, 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 hello. hello. <laughs> that's good. Hi, thank you. All right, where's your Ultraman? Or is back on the shelf? Ah, uh, he's back oh, home. Dear. Okay, so you're coming to us from back your in home? Ultraman. You're, you're home from my home? man cave. My man cave. <laughs> Man cave, I like that. I want a man cave too, but I just have a study. All right, and <laughs> next, our fan favorite, Miss Gabby Go. She is outnumbered again. A lot brighter for everyone to see her now. That's very good. Hi, yes, Gabby, I how are you? I second light. All I'm right. good, thank you. That's good, that's good. Next, we have Mr. Nazrin Zayin, Nazrin Shah, yeah. and Ben, yes, Okan Gamnam style. Oh goodness. Yeah, so how are you Nazin? I'm good, I'm good. Very nice Ali. Okay. Uh, this mic is so powerful. I know whose mic is so powerful. The next guy, Vernon Bernie Man. <laughs> hey guys, Bernie Man reporting from KLCC. You're not reporting from KLCC. <laughs> <laughs> if I can see KLCC, With you're not reporting from KLCC. And the cookie. Hello, hello. Hey, you're lagging. Is that because of your S4G? Uh? <laughs> no, it's because you guys are slowing it down. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's we're, all, we're all using Unify, so uh, I don't know about you, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, anyway, so thanks for joining us today. Uh, I was just going to open up with like uh, what everyone's been doing for the past two weeks. I mean, we missed the show last week because I think Amin wanted to go like Raya shopping or something. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah no, thanks it's not for announcing that to the world. Okay, it's never too early to go to Raya shopping. Okay? <laughs> so, I mean, what have you guys been up to, Amin? What, what have you been up to? Uh, yeah, nothing much. Uh, Raya preparations. Uh, so, last week, I uh, didn't, didn't have much time to sit down and, and, and do this. Uh, so nothing much actually, just try your prep. That's good, that's good. Winshen, what have you been doing? <laughs> As an outdoor man. <laughs> have you been saving the world? <laughs> Besides uh, fighting monsters in Japan and uh, you know, destroying a town over and over again, uh, I haven't been doing much at all, man. <laughs> yeah. Really? That's, that's the best thing to do, man. I've been like uh, sporadically watching Olympics, watching like weird events like uh, Weightlifting and like uh, weightlifting is cool, man. I know it's scary when you see a four foot woman lift like 150 kg. So lift uh, U plus plus <laughs> la. Yeah, no, yeah, like, me la. Are you awake? 150 kg. <laughs> okay la. So Gabby, how about you? What have you been up to? Uh, working. Working. Oh, today. Oh, yeah. You guys. Are you Selangor or KL? Do you have holidays? Selangor. Bob Sleigh holiday. Yeah, baby. Damn you. Who else is in KL besides uh, me and Chinch? Only me and Chinch, is it? Mm, I guess. Yep. Damn all of you. Damn, <laughs> damn you guys. I hope you guys uh, had a good holiday. Uh, next, how up? Nazrin, what have you been up to? Um, not much. Not much, really, to be quite honest. Uh, just reviewing products left, right, and center, and going out for events, not basically. Oh, yeah, yeah, but work, you've, work, you've closed work. your issue already, right? So yeah. it's on sense now. Yep. Where can we find you, Nazrin? You don't have any pimping of your magazine? <laughs> no, on Twitter, we're on chip, at chipmy, and you have a website at chip.com. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Next, uh, Vernon Chan, so what have you been up to besides... Uh... Oh, my uh, God. I, I can hear music. <laughs> yeah, sorry for the music, but uh, <laughs> it's not something I can control. I have been in Johor for two days. On a road trip. Let me get shopping right. Uh, well, shopping was a little bit, but it was the food that was a major one. The food? What? The food in Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, there like is food in Johor. Hush. Plenty of awesome good food, man. What food? What food is there in Johor? The beef we went noodles. To, we went to Yongfeng. We stopped by. Had some good stuff there. 
right. Johor Bahru was good actually. Uh, we had a local there who brought us around. So a local there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You're talking like he's like an indigenous person, a, a local. Yes, Stingray, do you have Stingray? Did I have what? Stingray? No. Yeah. What? No? Stingray. What? Hey, you notice your internet, your your picture is like the worst out of all of us, right? <laughs> no, I Could think mine's really good. Mine's really good. Okay, short. I'll let I'll let you plug yes. I mean, uh, so <laughs> how much are you paying for your yes? <laughs> I pay sixty-eight bucks a month. Congratulations. From my own pocket. Right. That's After good. After reload as well. Oh, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first of all, you know what, let's get right into it. Firstly, let us congratulate the Dato Lee Chong Wei for bringing home the silver medal, putting us above Singapore in the standings, everyone. Yeah, we're better than Singapore. Yeah. <laughs> at least but a yeah, Malaysian won the medal. I mean, exactly. I mean, at least a Malaysian won the medal. China player, right? Ouch. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. So yeah, I hope they enjoy the bronze while we have our silver. I, uh, <laughs> I think silver is a bit better than bronze. But, but anyway, congratulations, Dato Lee. It was a tough, close, close fight. The whole of the country was rooting for you. But you know what? Come back safe. He's arriving in KLIA tomorrow morning at like 7.20 in the morning. So. You know what? If you if you can, please come go welcome him home. He is a national hero. Uh, Dr. Lee Chong Wei, he's also given us like you know we posted one picture of him and suddenly bam, 500 likes. It's like awesome. It's great <laughs> to see like uh, the whole country coming to support him. You know what? Uh, if anyone still wants uh, still wants Baskin Robbins, come down to my office. And I'll buy you one. Like you're so hard up for one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so our first topic today is uh, actually something really really. Um, Really revolutionary, you know. I never thought I'd see it in my lifetime, but apparently, the Mars, the Mar we we successfully landed a rover on Mars, and it's called. This is actually the third. The third. The third sorry, the third rover in, in Mars, and it's called Curiosity. What's special about this one? It's a Twitter account. Yes, it does. Yeah. It is so awesome. You can find it at Mars Curiosity. Mars Curiosity. Yeah, that's a Twitter account. Awesome. I know it's like, uh, and you know what? It's it's actually powered by Max, like a, a crap ton of Max. And uh, it's like a, I I can't remember the stats, uh, the specs of it, but I know it has like a, like a two gig SSD and it it, 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 all the geeky stuff that I, I read today. I mean, I haven't really read up that much of it, but uh, ultra book. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's an ultra book, Vernon. Yeah, yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so the the Mars Mobile rover thingy it tweets. Yeah, yeah it tweets. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's a smart a rover. <laughs> it tweets I, from Earth. I, Hello. <laughs> okay, well. Let okay, let's. but Curiosity does have. I'm reading our 17 cameras, a laser that can survey the composition of rocks from a distance. Oh damn. And instruments that can analyze samples from soil or rocks. Wow. Wait, it's you had me at laser. Yes. Can it's, it transform? It's a rope. It's a probe the size of a small car on Mars, <laughs> equipped with laser, <laughs> and a Twitter account. It does not get any cooler than that. Man. But it, you know should, what? it doesn't have Instagram. Uh, <laughs> no, no, that's coming in an update. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, let, let, let me just uh, clarify for someone in the YouTube chat. We, as, as in us, Malaysia, did not send it, okay? We are not going <laughs> us to send the rover to Mars, okay? It's America who did it. You know, America, NASA, the Space Coast. Malaysia did not do it. But the rubber was from Malaysia. No, the rubber was not from Malaysia. No, Actually, you don't know that. Yeah, exactly. You know Malaysia produces high-quality grade rubber. <laughs> you went <laughs> away. It depends on what kind. Oh. Oh. That's not, don't oh, go, yeah, that's don't, do not go, this is a family friendly show, people. That's and not good, there's got two peaks at the back. Apparently it's like a 200 <laughs> megahertz CPU. And yes, Gabby, it, it, I don't think it has rubber wheels. I mean, you know, can you Plus imagine? Anyone know the surface temperature of Mars? It's, no. It's not, it's, I don't know. think it's that hot, but the thing is, if you have rubber wheels, you need uh, uh, air inside them. So it can't be solid rubber because it'll be heavy. I think right. it's running. Uh, I think metal wheels or something because metal the, wheels. Yeah, because the um, the surface is very. Uh, it's like a desert surface. Yep. Uh, so I don't know. It's 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 not rubber. I don't think so. I don't know. So how does uh, Mars compare to Uranus? 
I was wrong. Uh, oh, I knew how it would be. And I knew it would be Winchin. So I was like, okay, let's take, you know what? Do you think we will discover any life on Mars? <laughs> they are finding water there. I think they found water. When there's water potential for life, do you think they're going to find one mega bloody alien like those in anime one? Yeah, they'll find the Phytomars. Phytomars. Hey man, you just revealed your age. Oh, and, uh, point, uh, one of our producers, uh, Mr. Sharil, points out that, you know what, the surface temperature of Mars is minus 55 degrees Celsius. I'm not going to holiday there anytime soon. It's <laughs> like the North Pole or something else. So I, so slightly chilly uh, for our face, I think. Sli- slightly only, la, but yeah, you know what? Uh, that's why la, I don't think uh, rubber wheels would do very good. La. So I don't think any part of that rover is Malaysian made at all. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the 200 megahertz chip. <laughs> yeah, it's from the factory, Intel. Hey, yeah, you know what? The, it, it's, it runs off a 200 megahertz processor, la, um, and it is quite uh, slow. But I, I, for, I guess it proves that 200 megahertz can run Twitter. So you know what? <laughs> we don't need smartphones. We just need Who needs quad core? Well, I mean, the purpose of that thing is just to run around Mars and take pictures and send them back, is it? Uh, I guess so. But it's the it's the it's their biggest uh, rover to date. Uh, it has more equipment, uh, and it can test out. It can do more experiments over uh, over there. Uh, okay. I, yeah, I think there's two types of ex- experiments. Like one is you know testing the surface and looking for water and things like that. And I think number two is uh, the mission is successful in sending such a large uh, rover to Mars and landing it. I think it was. If yeah. you saw the videos on National Geographic showing how difficult it was to land the rover. Yeah, so they're calling it the seven minutes of terror. Yeah, seven minutes of terror. It, it had to go through the the atmosphere and then it had to parachute and then it had a sky crane to bring the rover down. It cannot just land with airbags like before. And the supersonic parachute. Yeah, supersonic parachute. So I think what's going to happen is uh, I think NASA is going to send bigger and bigger we're closer, like, I think we're a step closer to a manned mission to Mars, so I think that's a big deal. Well, that's so, it. realistically, yeah. how far are we yeah. away from uh, having a space station or something? Probably, I think when I'm like 70, I don't know. Or oh, next year, lah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know how much curiosity costs? How much? 2.6 6 billion, billion US dollars. So it's like a, a bajillion ringgit, lah. <laughs> 2.6 million US dollars, eh? Billion. 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 Okay. Yeah. Like pocket money for you lah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> From your man cave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's yeah, apparently one fifth the price of the London Olympics. Why are you wow. serious? <laughs> you know, I heard they, they overspent the London Olympics, but you know what? Did you watch the opening ceremony? No. Uh, I did. Yeah, you I watched think the opening okay. ceremony and you know why it's overspent. They had a bloody hill. They had a huge ass <laughs> a hill, a bucket in the middle uh-huh. of the stadium. And it was like people like coming out like what? And it's like it was epic. It was so it was a like volcano spewing human lava. <laughs> <laughs> it was some token stuff like JR token, you know. Well, not really lah, but it was like really epic. And that's why they. I think I don't know the stats of the when how how much overspent. I think it was more than 100 percent overspent their budget. Damn. I think but it was Rowan Atkinson. They had to pay him. <laughs> hey, that was the, one of the coolest parts of the opening. That was very funny. You know what they should have done? They should have sent Rowan Atkinson to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> aliens' first contact with humans would be Mr. Bean. How cool would that be? <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd be invaded tomorrow, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Humans are so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That's good. So, uh, I mean, this whole the Mars rover is an amazing, amazing, amazing step in in the, the right direction of humans. You know, one small step for for mankind sort of thing? Leap for mankind, step for science sort of thing. Oh, and uh, as you can see... The uh, final frontier, man! Where are all your Star Trek references? Check, check out... No, hey, I'm not a Star Trek geek or a Star Wars geek. Oh, so. okay, so never mind. If you, if you check out like uh, what's been shared right now, that's like the first picture from Mars. As you can see, it's very dusty. <laughs> <laughs> and it's square. I mean, this could have... This is Instagram right here, like, come on. <laughs> That's true, it could be right here. Yeah, inter, 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 Instagram. 
Who needs Instagram? It's got Mars filters. Yeah, man, Mars filter. They should have. They should have really just flown the iPad to space, mate. Seriously. You know, uh, with the with the rover landing site, uh, some people are now creating like parody accounts. Yes, sir. Uh, if the producers can find it, it'd be really cool. It's really funny, la, to to check out the the parody accounts. Like uh, the the Mars rover landed, and then it says, "Oh, we've landed," and things like that. And then there was a parody account that says, "Mars." Oh, sorry, we didn't uh, tidy up the place before you landed or something. Like that. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. Oh no, yeah. Vernon's dying. Oh, okay. um, oh, I want to focus. Yeah, on that. that's oh, the problem with Max lah. Hi, yo, Max. Let that lah. Memang mendukicitakan. Terrible. You know what? That's that's what happens when uh, you're in a cafe. I wonder if he's sitting beside a power plug. Never mind. Goodbye, Vernon. <laughs> 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 so much for his yes. Yeah. So his hey. battery ran out before his credits ran out. <laughs> wow, that's something. Okay, and apparently, like, uh, that's why the that that picture, the biggest resolution is two five six by two five six. You know what? That is it passes off as grainy for Instagram. It's artistic, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they should be higher res. They just don't want to send out the high res ones so people don't like make t-shirts out of them. Or maybe what they do is usually what they do is uh they send uh, uh sections and then Mars Na- NASA will just stitch those sections and they'll get a higher res picture out of that. I don't know. Oh my don't god. Know. Yeah, man. Hey, no, actually, you can just do a panorama. You can yeah, just do should. a panorama. Yeah, don't forget the iPad. They should have brought the pure view. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. roaming charges yeah. would be a bitch, lah. <laughs> <laughs> it takes approximately, according to someone on our comments feed, thirteen point eight minutes to transmit data. Yeah, one fourteen way. minutes. Yeah. Wow, fourteen minutes to transmit data one way. The lag. And you thought Unify was bad. Yeah, so the robot is autonomous. Isn't that amazing? It's like a robot, right? So it's it's I don't know. It's amazing. I, I read a tweet somewhere. Somebody said that you know in this. In this year, you saw, uh, you could see someone running in the Olympics without legs, and you see a robot landing in Mars. You know, it's it's amazing okay. year, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Cool. So uh, you know what? We are that close away from seeing aliens on Mars. Uh, right now, we've got rocks. Uh, Vernon is back, but you know what? Vernon has no power. The only power point is in the kitchen, and apparently, the only water they have is Evian. Oh, it's just that, man. Someone's asking me if that's, is that lip gloss. It's what lip gloss? Who? Who's wearing lip gloss? It's what lip gloss? <laughs> what would you say? It's not lip gloss. I'm not wearing lip gloss. <laughs> no, that's KLCC at the back. It's not lip gloss. What the hell? I have supple <laughs> lips. I can't help it. With the supple lips. <laughs> My lips are supple. <laughs> Wait, it's just supple. <laughs> okay. All right. Do you moving along. Moving along. Good. Moving along from my lips. <laughs> okay. Okay. Since we the last. Along, close up, close up. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to tell. No, no, we we need to cue the music for that. <laughs> okay. When when uh, you know what, Vernon is down to ten percent. <laughs> You know what, Vernon? Your battery died before your yes. Okay, so you know what we can offer you to yes. say is yes is better than Apple. What? Oh. What can I say? <laughs> you know what? You can go to Espresso Mente. Their password is uh, Gastrodome. <laughs> I know, but it's very noisy. Very noisy. I'm looking for a quieter place. So. Find the place. Yeah, I'm gonna. Just find I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna log off and, and find the Everyone say bye to Vernon. Chat channel bye. say bye to Vernon. Bye. 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 Okay, so we'll, let's talk about uh, uh, oh. big, one of the biggest things that happened in the past two weeks. It is the fact that Hotmail is now Outlook.com. So they changed Outlook dot, uh, Hotmail into basically a prettier looking... Well, it, it's very in line with their home metro thingy. But what do you guys think? I mean, I mean... I'll start off with you. What do you think of this whole Outlook and Hotmail thingy? Do you have? Do you convert your account? Uh, no, I, I haven't. I'm still on Gmail. 
But I, I've said it before, I, I think Microsoft is, is doing all the right things right now. They're heading in the right direction. And Outlook is just another step uh, to, you know, to that, to that right direction. I, I, it's, it's actually really good. I've, I've tried it. I, I haven't migrated. It has a lot of, like, for example, when you're viewing pictures, you don't have to download it. It has like a picture viewer thing, Imajigi, going on there. Um, uh, emails are easier to sort. Uh, it's smarter now, so if you, it so, so somewhat predicts your email so that it auto sorts it if you if you want it to do it that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's nicer. It's more, um, it's more familiar because you know in, in the office environment we use Outlook, and yep. we have this Outlook web based web based Outlook. It, it's somewhat similar in terms of how you use it. Oh. And uh, and I, I like it that it's very touch interface uh, friendly. So yeah, it's a good step. I haven't I haven't moved on to it yet. Maybe they should come up with a tutorial to tell us how easy it is to migrate. I don't think uh, I, Yeah, I haven't found it. I would love to, but I, I haven't. I think uh, it's just a barrier for me to go go through uh, Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Uh, is it gonna be? Is it gonna replace anything for you? I mean, uh, as you can see, this is the new Outlook interface. And, uh, oh, is that? Oh, <laughs> oh, it was. Uh, it was uh, a chapri. Is that the face of Outlook? Oh my God. That was the face of Outlook, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, no, that's not the face of Outlook, that's the face of Look Out! <laughs> so, Nazrin, did you change yours to uh, Outlook? No, not yet actually. Why? Uh, I don't know, I'm still, I'm, I'm very tied down to Google, to, to Gmail, mm-hmm. and uh, it's an entire environment. I, I use everything from, from Google now, so... I don't know, just changing um, one email uh, one email program doesn't really sound like a very hmm. conducive. Uh, it's, it's a very counterproductive thing for me. So, like uh, SkyDrive, you don't use SkyDrive? No, uh, I, I use Google Drive. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah. And uh, so, what would make you switch everything to Hotmail? Um, easy import options, mm-hmm. because I use Google Contacts as well. So, yeah. if there's any way for me to import my contacts from Google to Outlook or yep. Microsoft, then that might make me change. But well, okay. uh, just see as uh, just see as how things go on with with Outlook and Microsoft in general. All right. So Wenchen, I'm guessing you didn't change to Outlook. Well, let's be frank. I didn't maintain my Hotmail account for my MSN Messenger. That's, uh, <laughs> a lot of people do that, right? Yeah, yes, but, I do uh, that too. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, once I saw people tweeting about Outlook.com, I actually did uh, log in and changed my update my address to uh, Outlook.com um, and to be honest it's not really new because uh, we when I, when I was still at LightUpNet last year I believe it's early in the year mm. we had this uh, preview of the updated Hotmail and yes, that's, that's pretty right. much what uh, Outlook.com is right now um, I'm just surprised it took that long to roll out um, pro- I could be wrong you know they could be an option yep. object at Hotmail but uh, it wasn't widely publicized uh, you know, as for easy import options, it is pretty easy. It is pretty easy. Um, I think you can just do everything through some wizards. And uh, you know, Microsoft has their own infrastructure. You know, they have uh, the SkyDrive, they have their contacts, they have their picture banks, and all that. So um, they are giving uh, Google a good run for their money, I guess. The interface is nice. Um, I don't know about the touch interface as what well. I mean said just now. I yep. haven't uh, accessed it on a touch uh, device yet. Okay. Uh, only on my desktop. Yeah. So it looks good. Looks good. Okay, that's good. Uh, I mean, that you brought up a very good point uh, that you know, and you maintain your thing just for your MSN. Uh, so that means you've upgraded, you've upgraded your account, and now your uh, whatever I would say your email address at yeah. Outlook.com, right? Yeah, yeah. I had to change it to at Outlook.com. Did, did you have any trouble logging back in? Because mm-hmm. this has been a problem with like I I've, I've heard some a lot of people. I mean, my girlfriend was like, you know what? Oh damn, I've lost all my contacts. You know, I upgraded, and they cannot. They couldn't like uh, they they couldn't log back in and, and when they did log back in they lost all their contacts. That's that's what because uh, actually I didn't have to change to Outlook.com until like the next time I booted my computer. Yep. So I think it's something to do with the login process. But um, as far as what I know, Outlook.com you can host uh, a couple of aliases. So that means um, yeah. you know your email address at Outlook.com. Yep. You know um, and. Your, the original emails from your hot, Hotmail account will get forwarded there. Yeah, um, it's up to six, five or six uh, aliases yeah. you can host. So uh, that's one of the smart things, I guess. You can send your hot, people sending straight to Hotmail will go there. And yeah. when you import from your Gmail, mm-hmm. uh, you can sort of get your Gmail forwarded there. 
So yeah. uh, it's all right. But when you reply, you'll be at Outlook.com. Yeah, and you have uh, all these uh, aliases are good ways to sign up for uh, slightly undesirable. Slightly yeah. cannot oh, like how I sign up for group one with your email. Yes, how oh. I sign up for my email. <laughs> Okay. I'm still getting those emails, you know. <laughs> Good man. Oh my god. Okay, Gabby. So let me tell me. Are you on Outlook.com? I am actually like Wunchen. I only have the email address active just so I can log on to MSN Messenger. So, Good. but I did when they launched Outlook.com. I went, you know, upgraded and everything. Um, I mean, it 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 screams Metro UI. It looks fine. It looks, uh, you know, a lot of. Uh, the features we already saw in the l earlier in the year when they did the preview. I'm actually really curious to see how it'll work with uh, a tablet, yeah. but I don't have one of those yet, so I look forward to checking it out there. Oh, well, Chapri is behind the scenes. He has a tablet, but you know what? Uh, it's, it's being it's in use right now. So I'm wondering maybe that's why they took so long <coughs> to roll it out. You know, because they were sorting out maybe the touchscreen and how it's going to sync with the rest of their you know, reimagined Windows environment. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, just, a, I'm a, just a quick show of, I, like just going around, I mean, how many total email accounts does everyone have right now? I mean, how many email accounts do you have? I'll put you on the spot. Uh, how many email accounts, how many do you manage and how many do you, you know, have? I, I have three. I have three, three. yeah. All right, three, which it? How many email accounts do I have? Yeah. Uh, I have my work one, I have my personal one, and I have my the line line one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, for all your porn subscriptions, of course. No, no, it's on my MSN. No. Uh, <laughs> I like. Same thing. And then I have Lucas's one, so that's four. Gabby? <laughs> <laughs> I have three. Work, three emails. personal, and, and that line line. Yeah, backup one. No, my MSN email. Uh, how about that? Uh, yeah, I have about four. Four. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, one work, one three personal ones. Uh, one for PlayStation Asia, one for PSN US, and one for PSN Japan. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. You have to get different emails for that, right? That is quite. Hey, actually, you're right. I have uh, <coughs> personal PlayStation US uh, work. Yeah, that's it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Are we counting our Facebook email too? No, no, no. Let's not count that nonsense, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay. This is the one question. I mean, it's all well and good if if uh, everything you can ex if you can uh, change to Outlook easily. You know, yeah. Let's say you really want to adopt SkyDrive for some reason. Oh my God, SkyDrive is awesome. Uh, but look, Android phones. Android phones use Google. Android phones use Google Contacts. Yep. You know, Android phones have Google functionality. Would you guys? <coughs> would would is that a big issue for you guys? I mean, it's Android. Uh, yeah, 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 it's a big issue for me. Uh, well, this is basically the same strategy la, with Microsoft. Hmm. Uh, for you to be able to use their Windows phone, you need a, a, a Microsoft, what's it called, live account or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So now it's probably an Outlook account because it's single login or whatever it is. Yep. So yeah, it's, it's a big deal. And uh, like uh, Sharil said, uh, I, I think all of us are pretty much tied in with our Google accounts. Uh, I use Google for everything nowadays. My calendar, my contacts. Uh, I I even stopped using Yahoo. I I'm using Google Talk now. Yeah. Uh, and. Well, uh, you still use Yahoo? I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Chapman uses Yahoo. Yeah. So and I back up my I back up everything with Google. So when I change devices, uh, it's just like I'm having my old device. It even remembers my. Uh, Wi-Fi access, uh, my Wi-Fi APNs and things like that, so I don't even have to re-enter passwords when I go to familiar places with a new phone. Familiar so nice. yeah, it's it's crazy. Uh, so it's it's a big deal, lah. Okay, I mean, uh, I'm just gonna segue a bit, uh, just to tell everyone viewing right now, like uh, we will be taking your questions, any comments, uh, any applications to date Gabby. Uh, later <laughs> uh, throughout the show, uh, enter it in the YouTube chat box, and our producers will actually just go through them. And if if they will be taking, they'll they'll take your stuff, your questions, and we'll answer it at the end. Or if it's really super super good, or if your application to date Gabby is really that good, we'll we'll talk about it now. But uh, yeah, uh, let us know whatever you want to ask. You know, anything, any topic you think we uh, that you want to hear about, yeah, do let us know. 
so back to back to Outlook. Uh, it is a big issue for me because uh, like no matter how good this email uh, experience is, I mean I I've, I've had mixed reactions. I had this comment on my Twitter and uh, when it was released and said, look, uh, back in the day, people jumped from their Hotmail, their Yahoo, their Rocketmail, um, their, uh, their, all this, all of their stuff, uh, their email addresses, and went onto Gmail. How? Did, it, because it was the next new thing. Is Hotmail gonna be the next new thing for you know to pull people from Gmail? Quick, quick answers, everyone. I mean, uh, not yet in Malaysia. I don't think so. Uh, content Chen? is a problem. Question. Um, once uh, vendors start pushing more Windows phones, then yes. Gabby? Um, it'll depend on how committed you are to the current ecosystem and how nice these two guys play with, with each other. For Bernard answer. Uh, Bernard uh, answer. Well, he's not around, so I have to represent. Ooh, Bernard answer. But I don't see most people changing from Gmail anytime soon because back when everybody was jumping to Gmail, mm -hmm. it, there was less sort of integration with the whole ecosystem. You didn't use your email for uh, much more than what you do now, you know, like how Google has made it. You use your Gmail for almost, you know, it's connected to everything. So with that kind of um, roots, it's going to be... I said short answer. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Nazrin. Nazrin. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with Gabby on that. See? Okay. See, that's a short answer. <laughs> that is a short answer. Sorry. So yeah, uh, no, for myself, uh, it's no, because you know what, uh, I think Android is just too, too uh, out there already. I don't see Windows Phone being dominant yet. So give it a while. Uh, I guess it might work lah in the future. Well, I say give it a while too, because I'm sure there'll be some third party apps, right, that will let you sync very soon. Mm, yeah. Okay, very good. I mean, uh, I, I'm excited to see what the next phones are. Uh, apparently, uh, Nokia World uh, coming soon. So, uh, you, we could very well see some awesome Windows phone, Windows <laughs> phone phones. Okay. <laughs> okay. Windows Phone 8 phones. <laughs> Maybe. But uh, I know my new guy. My new guy's going to kill me because like, uh, he's like a big Nokia fan. But yeah. Sorry, dude. Really? Right. Uh, yes, really. And he's also single, Gabby. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's a little too young for you, though. No, I jailbait, man. It's okay. You're so Okay, Gabby, what is your youngest you go for? <laughs> oh, we, no, no, no. Our next topic is... No, no. The, yeah, the next topic is what is the youngest you go for? <laughs> oh, you bastard. Uh, no more than three years. No more three years. So you old. have to be <laughs> three years <laughs> old. No, three years younger than me, man. How how old is three years younger than you? We have to. <laughs> oh, and I have to reveal my age. Women don't do that, man. Okay, so uh, late twenties, mid twenties, early twenties, nineteen, what? <laughs> uh, mid twenties and above. So they have to be. They can't be in their early 20s, lah. so they can't be 21, 22-ish. No, that's... All right, so what is the oldest? <laughs> oh, uh... 40? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can be a sugar baby. So 40-year-old guys on YouTube, oh, God. Guys send me a message. Uh... So you guys are okay. So yeah, my new guy has just commented on, uh, on YouTube, uh, Passwasser 14 ty He doesn't want a Windows 8 phone, he wants Migo. Migo is dead. Uh, feel free to insult <laughs> him now. Feel free to boo <laughs> him right now. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> he's already he's only been here for like a week, right? I'd rather have Blackberry. Blackberry 10. He wants what? He wants Migo, I tell him, you go. <laughs> <laughs> See, no, no Migo for you. <laughs> Oh yeah, so okay, the next topic is a very interesting one. Yes, we have uh, we have switched already. Our next topic is, uh, as you can tell, the Olympics is going on. Uh, I guess you guys have noticed that by now. Yeah. Olympics no, really? going on. But the cool really? thing. Oh, okay. I, I just thought it was some strange badminton game yesterday. Uh, <laughs> they win medals, I think. I but don't know what uh, they were doing, passing that you know that that stick on fire. 
Cigarette, cigarette. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I think the queen wanted the cigarette. Oh man. But uh, yeah, so the, the, it's going, it's going on now. And the, the difference between this Olympics and the one in Beijing, it was that YouTube is actually streaming the entire Olympics yep. online. Yep, yep. And it's exactly the same as like uh, when you go to Astro, you see all the channels. YouTube has all the sports live, except that it's maybe a minute delayed. But uh, I don't know whether it's for all countries. I don't think so. Something about broadcasting rights, I guess. But in Malaysia, yes, there, there is uh, this service. Have you guys been using this service, uh, or are you watching on Astro, and why? I'll start with you, Gabby, that once young, not so young man and 40 year old man. Oh. Oh, I'm never going to live this down. I don't have Astro, so I've actually been getting most of my Olympic updates and all from Twitter, more so than actually watching the Olympics, because I don't know why, but this particular edition of the Olympics, I think the most interesting thing is not so much the, the, the sporting events, but all the drama happening around it from um, the Olympic people, uh, from the Olympics committee going around trying to kill Wi-Fi hotspots because they don't allow, they're, they're limiting the amount of um, social media activity, activity on grounds Why to is checking. That? Huh? Why is that? Limiting the... Social media, yeah. You well, I know the athletes are not allowed to tweet. They're limited. And also, uh, I think there's a lot of concern, a lot of money, you know, um, being exchanged for you know exclusivity and and mm. rights to you know getting the the Olympics coverage out there live and also oh the other thing that's really entertaining is of course NBC fail which yes. has been quite interesting yes so that has been that has been my Olympics not so oh. much the the actual so you event. just like drama don't you Gabby well, you know part and parcel of the job. Okay, so uh, Chan Wen Chen, have you been watching the Olympics? Yes, you have. As, as everyone in the pre-show knows, he's been watching weightlifting. Yes, oh, uh, <laughs> that's the shit out of me, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, uh, I guess you watch it on Astro? Yeah, yeah, I'm watching on Astro. Um, I guess the main reason is because I only have a 19-inch monitor in my man cave. Uh, if it was uh, 32 or a 40 or 51, you know, it could be different. Calling for donations now. Oh, oh, <laughs> but yeah, really, um, my screen is a bit small. I found out during the uh, Euro time when uh, we were watching Astro on the go. Okay. So uh, the experience is pretty similar, but one thing I have to say, though, um, when people share links to, to videos uh, on okay. Facebook, like uh, um, videos of some game that happened previously, I can't even watch them. It always says it's not a lot in my country or whatever. Mm, really? You no, know, like... Um, they will, uh, the, like the link for the China uh, Korea match, the badminton match, the one ah, that yes. started controversy, right? So that was on uh, Facebook a lot. And every, every link I clicked on, they said it's not available in their country. So I don't know what's that about. That's strange because I viewed it okay from my, from my side. So, oh. so maybe I don't know what masking software you've been using to visit dirty sites again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just using uh, Google DNS, that's all. Ah, very good. Mm. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's alright. It's pretty. It's pretty sweet. Nice that they have this. Um, nothing much to say actually. <laughs> well, if there's one thing that the, this Olympics has done is that it has single-handedly uh, introduced a whole bunch of people to how VP, uh, proxy networks work. Because due to dissatisfaction with the Olympics coverage in their own country, be it uh, in the states with NBC fail or with other countries, you know, not happy with some uh, sporting events not being shown due to uh, licensing agreements. You know, people have just been going online and doing, uh, masking their RPs and then checking out BBC coverage instead or vice versa. So that's yeah. been cool. Um, one of the big concerns I think uh, over those whole Olympics on YouTube thing is the, the lag on YouTube. Because like, you know what, for the poor people who are, for the poor guys who were watching like last night's badminton game on YouTube, it was like, a, it's a significant lag. So yeah. you know what, they're getting their, their updates on Twitter and they're just watching the YouTube, they're like, you know what, let's screw that. It, it, is a, it is a big concern, but you know what, not everyone has the sports bracket on, on Astro. How much, yeah. length, how much length does the YouTube have over the Astro? A couple of minutes, you know, it's like not... Yeah, it's quite, quite a long length. Because Astro already delays the telecast by three minutes for really? every channel. Yeah. Damn, so, so like uh, that's three minutes and then there's, it's probably another two or three minutes about that. 
So yeah. I mean, it's the same case as uh, like during the World Cup or during like a lot of big games where yeah. uh, RTM and and ah, yes. one you know they they show games and like imagine the mama outside your house is showing the RTM one and you're watching an Astro. Yeah. So uh, you you hear them cheer before you get the Sydney goal anyway. Yeah, man. But that's uh, it's really it's it's weird, but you know what? It has something to do with, I guess the uh, the agreements mm. buying the content. I don't know, but yeah. Uh, I mean, Yo. have you been uh, catching up with your Olympics? Goodness. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like every, I don't have Astro at home. Uh, yeah, TV, right? No, I, I don't have a TV yet. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. Still shopping. We, yeah, we just moved, so I don't have a TV yet. Um. that lah. But this, but despite that, I think watching watching it on YouTube is, is is very intuitive. I like that you can choose channels really quickly. I like that you can watch previews, uh, not previews, like highlights, yeah. uh, at your own time. Yeah. Uh, I I just like that viewing experience, and uh, I think all other sporting events should be like that. I think TV should be like that. Period. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's great. Uh, YouTube is doing good. Um, so hopefully. Uh, we catch on in Malaysia. Like for example, uh, for me, I mentioned earlier, I had a very bad experience Astro on the go. I don't think it worked so much. I think Tonton is better, but Tonton. yeah, catch up is really good. So it's just mm-hmm. uh, I like it. I like it. Good. Uh, like okay, basically this YouTube uh, broadcast of the Olympics is available in 22 Asian countries, 42 Sub-Saharan countries. So I don't. Sub-Saharan, I guess, yeah. Uh, tw- 22 Asians, 42 Sub-Saharan. And there's 11 channels, 10 in HD and... Te- no, sorry. 11 channels in HD, uh, 10 feeds, and one new channel. My question is, is this where you want, you want to consume your content? Is this how you'd like to consume your content from now? Like, say, uh, next World Cup or something, uh, next Olympics or like a Sukma or whatever. Do you, would this be ideal for you? Yeah, Sukma, that's all I could come up with. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, what do you think? Uh, I think? I think yes, because right now we have uh, Android-powered set-top boxes. Because on mobile devices, you cannot actually view the content live. You can only yeah. view the highlights, which yeah. is still okay. It's still good catch-up. Yeah. If you want to view live, you, you go to to your computer. Or if you have a Android-powered set-top box, maybe you can do it uh, via that. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then you can record into your streamer, whatever it is that you do. So yeah, I think it's pretty awesome. Yep. I think it's pretty awesome. So, I mean, Nazrin, uh, what do you, do you, have, do you, have you catch, caught up on this Olympic thing? Yeah. And is this improving your uh, your quality of, like, uh, your viewing experience, uh, basically, let's just say? Most definitely. I, I use both Astro and YouTube. Astro okay. for the live matches. Okay. Uh, YouTube for the highlights. If, let's say I missed one one... One event like mm-hmm. let's say um the beach volleyball. volleyball. Oh, yeah. oh, beach, oh volleyball. yeah, beach volleyball is always live, brother. What? My, beach volleyball. My, the the most significant one was the hundred meter dash. Which, okay. Uh, Usain Bolt won. I I missed that yesterday. So you know it's like oh no I, I missed that particular match. So just YouTube it, found it on the first search, clicked it and you know just watch it for 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 eleven minutes. That's it. It's, it's very convenient minutes. in that sense. You ran for like 10 seconds and you had to watch 11 minutes of it. Yeah, yeah. The prep, you know, introduce the build up, the build up. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> can you think of any other like uh, instances you'd like to have your media like this? Um, if it was available on tablets or, you know, smartphones, hmm. that'd be great. That'd be really great. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I, want can, uh, I can think of uh, like maybe the general election. I would like to watch hmm. my TV on my tablet on the go. Like news and things like that, live, that would be really good. Yeah, I mean, uh, that, I, I agree. That's, uh, it, it, it will have a lot of, uh, a lot of applications. Like, uh, personally, I watch uh, competitive Dota. I'm <laughs> terrible at the game. But, you know, I like, I like watching. Like, uh, even when I used to watch uh, competitive StarCraft. But, you know, tournaments would go on and there will be so many games that you can only see. And if, if they had this type of format, I, I think it would be amazing. You know, like uh, different people's streams or, you know, what different cards. Masters and, and, and I really do enjoy I, I do enjoy my Olympics experience because of that. You know, I, I want I am like uh, you guys, I watch I, I do watch Astro for the live stuff, but you know, uh, Chapri, if he was here he can tell you it'll be on his tablet. It'll, it'll be on his tablet in, in the office, you know, the highlights, just watching. You know, just randomly watching. Uh. So yeah. 
Um, also, uh, suddenly Gabby, you've got more fans. The Kenway says, uh, Gabby, stop stoning. Hi, say hi to Kenway, guys. Hi, Kenway. <laughs> hi, Kenway. Is it uh, the Kenway? Yeah, yeah, it is the Kenway. I'm, I'm pretty sure. The, uh, Ken, the, the Kenway is... Are you the Kenway? Please answer us. But going back to our topic, I think yes. for large sporting events like the Olympics or things like uh, competitions or preliminary rounds of large competitions, I think the kind of highlights, the quick catch-ups that YouTube's offering will be the most, uh, most dominant. But when it comes down to like, you know, uh, the, final, the finals, you know, the, the, the last match, I don't think you can take away from that viewing experience of that, you know, the large screen with a whole bunch of other people yelling their, their lungs out. I think that experience will not go away. Well, because, you know, well, like, you can do that with YouTube. Just have to get a projector, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you know, you you and sort of bypass. You sort of bypass, you know, all these like astro licensing fees. And, That's true. Uh, if you want to run your own event, you you know what? Uh, I was tempted to watch the match yesterday because I live. Uh, I can see TM TM building from where I stay, <laughs> and like they were they were projected the whole the whole, the game on the TM. And I was like, hey, maybe I should watch it like that. But I think my neighbors won't appreciate me shouting at the top of my lungs on my balcony. <laughs> yeah, considering my neighbor is Mat Saleh, I don't think I don't think he's country qualified in badminton, like, so you know. Like. <laughs> I thought you're used to. Uh, he should be used to your shouting already. Hey, you dirty fella! Don't say like that, lah. I'm, no, la, I'm not a noisy neighbor. I'm not. Car, I don't drive. Ha. Huh. But yeah, so Olympics. I think uh, it was a, it's a great thing. Uh, YouTube did a really good job and I'm really just really excited to see what else uh, what else they, they come up with. Um, they've already made such a big like such big jumps in, in, in things like Hangout on Air that we're using right now, EA Hangout on Air. Uh, but I, yeah, I'm pretty keen to see and besides you can rewind. Don't, don't forget you can rewind all the Olympic stuff if you miss something, if it likes, you know, you can rewind. But yeah, for me, the greatest part of the Olympics on YouTube is the archiving aspect of it. <laughs> you know, like what Nazreen said, you can just go back and do something that you missed. And oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, it'd be great if they sort of um, have this infrastructure for lesser-known competitions, you know, things that can't afford buying TV time. World of Chess, is it? Maybe that, or maybe uh, something regional, you know, having the Google guys going out to regional yeah. sports, sports things and doing that. Uh, you know, it, 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 can be, it can be done very well with uh, a lot of work from the on-ground guys to mm. promote sports in general. It doesn't happen to be sports that could actually sell um, airtime for events and whatnot. Mm. But the potential is there to do things. It's just good to know mm. that the infrastructure is there. But, but they have Samsung, like, you know, with, the, with our feed, with the, the Olympic feed, right? They have Samsung ads, right? I mean, to be honest with you, I don't experience them at all. Oh, wow. uh, I, I don't know why. I whenever I change channel, I don't experience them at all. So any comment on this, guys? Like, uh, oh, your share must have gone to mine. Every time I switch, it's the damn ad, man. <laughs> every time I switch, every time I switch a sport, the ad comes out. Every time I switch a sport, the ad comes out. Like, what I don't you guys I, just made what? a media buyer for the Samsung account somewhere here. Very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it, it's it, yeah. It comes to a point where it's annoying. Uh, I mean, you know, and I think they're wasting resources. It's like, how many times you want to show me the ad? I've already seen it. Probably if I've seen it five times, I think it's enough. They should have a system that's fine enough to know that, okay, I've seen it five times. You can stop uh, serving me the ads. New viewers can watch the ads. You're just wasting asset. Uh, ah, you see, Google doesn't get paid like that. They yeah. get paid per view, so. Mm. Well, yeah, NAQD was saying uh, it was ad block on Chrome or Firefox, and that's right. I, I do run ad block on Chrome. So, yeah. But does these ad blockers work for you know every other YouTube app? I don't know, you know. I don't think the ad blockers work for YouTube, though. Yeah, that's what I think. Website ads, not video ads. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. I really don't have never seen a single Samsung ad. Are yeah. those like pop-up ads or what? Or what? No, I think uh, it's a video ad. Uh, it's a pre-roll. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe Samsung has blacklisted me or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's we don't need to, we don't need to advertise. If Samsung you, they would have like, just played the ad and not like, <laughs> yeah. put it on. They do like 30 minutes oh, of ads. Yeah. 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 Now I have to watch Astro. 
Oh no no, but but yeah, I I do I prefer watching on my big on my TV because it is bigger. I do have a, a forty six inch TV. Sorry, Wenchen. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Okay, so that's the Olympics. I mean, uh, summary of that, it's it's awesome. We want to see it more. That means you, Google. Zeph, if you're listening to this, tell the tell the higher. Oh, guess who? Guess who we have? Battery Boy is back. <laughs> oh. All right, Battery Boy. Oh no, plugging yeah, Kenzo. Who <laughs> you? Dude, you're such a brand whore, dude. What the hell? What? Kenzo la. Oh, Kenzo, what? What Kenzo? It's been I I had to I had to find a place with a PowerPoint. Number two, the water is expensive. Okay. Number three, the yes connection isn't good here. So <laughs> I'm tattooing for my Max's phone. So uh, Max's I'm lineup. Serious. Oh, not bad. I think if I are doing it for Max's, I'll spot. Yeah, not bad. What have I missed? Nothing, nothing. Nothing, <laughs> not nothing much. Nothing much, actually. <laughs> yeah, man. So, okay, so now you're powered by Max's instead of yes. Uh, so powered by Max's, unfortunately. Where are you? Where are you now? I am in Star Hill. <laughs> You're in Star Hill. Yeah. Sitting down so in Star Hill. So YTL <laughs> yes doesn't work <laughs> in Star Hill. Ooh. 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 Excellent. Ooh. I didn't say that, huh? I I'm sorry, uh, Tansri. I did not say that. <laughs> Her <laughs> name is Gabby. <laughs> Gabby. Uh, oh, Bernard, By the way, I'll see uh, the lawyers in the morning. Commenters are calling Gabby pretty, right? You're the handsome one of the of the thing. So Ooh. every week, come and bring the ladies, okay? <laughs> See, he cannot hear us. Maxis. <laughs> Maxis. Okay. Okay, so our next topic, very simple. Uh, there have been talks about the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. It's confirmed. The uh, no, it's confirmed. Yeah, I mean, the talks about when it's being released, like, I know it's confirmed. It's confirmed. The 19, right? Or 29. 2019, 2019th, okay, let's just say the 2019th of this, this month. It's the 29th of August. 29th of August, yeah, it, it will come out. Uh, at a, is it going to be an unpacked event? Yes. yes. You know what? Let's do a, let's do a hangout. Let's do a hangout. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's do a hangout. We'll have 10 people on this hangout and we'll just uh, mock that phone. No, I'm just kidding. I will mock that phone. I, I still don't believe in such a big phone. But you know, I'm interested to hear what you guys think. I will start with you, Nazrin. Um, note 2. Um, note 2. I hear it's going to be bigger than the current note. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's gonna be insane, but um, judging by the note sales, I would still think that people are still gonna go for it. Okay. This thing is gonna run ice cream sandwich most likely as well. Okay. Um, <laughs> what the heck? mean again? Turn off that vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> that one is burden for sure. Okay, so I got your thing. And we lost Nasri. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was Nasri. <laughs> the the Nasri killed him. <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll go to you, uh, Mr. Maxis. Mr. Chan. So, why don't you tell me? Uh, I, I think he's using Windows. Oh. 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 So, why don't you tell me? Galaxy Note 2, what do you think? I think he's... <laughs> well, I don't know. It's gonna be a surprise hit again. Um, I think the first note was a surprise. Wait, I, I think how even can you say it's going to be a surprise hit again? <laughs> because it, it was a surprise to the, to Samsung even for the first one, and uh, it's 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 very niche. It's it's super huge. It's not for niche, dude. What the hell? Everybody has it, man. What the hell? Not everybody has it. Not everybody likes it. But uh, I think it's it's still gonna sell. Uh, that's that's all I'm gonna say. I think it's still gonna sell. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Vernon answer. <laughs> what do we mean? Mm. Vernon answer is a definite answer. <laughs> okay. Uh, Chan Wen Chen, 5.8 inch uh, note. Mm-hmm. What do yeah. you think? Ah, I'm sure it sells too. I mean, uh, <laughs> a lot of people uh, <laughs> like it. Uh, Are you they like the high? current note. It's a challenge. A lot of people like the current note. And but, but I like it. You don't like it, do you? I like it. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Cool. Sorry. <laughs> but you know what? I, I don't mind the current note. The current note is okay. 
All right, but you know what? It's gonna be bigger than the current node. Before long, we're gonna be like that. It's already like that. No, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. According to all the Korean dramas, you're supposed to hold it in front of you. Like that. Yes, and speak. God. No. But then fail. But look, if I had the that that note, I probably wouldn't use it so much as a phone because I barely use my phone as a phone anyway. I use it all for Twitter, for WhatsApp, for emails. Uh, SMSing, occasional call. Occasional That's because you don't have a lovable phone. Oh. It doesn't matter what phone I'll be using because uh, <laughs> I could, to be honest, I could be using a Nokia 3210 right now, and uh, I could still get a lot of things done. All uh, right. You know, it wouldn't make a lot of difference. Uh, I'll have the Boss. battery for my email. Uh, that's about it. I mean, Ooh. right now, if I have the uh, Note 2 or the Note or uh, Android device. It's gonna be like my iPod Touch, you know. It's gonna be my gaming device. <laughs> That's about it. I'll get a data card probably just to get online. Uh, but is that anywhere. gonna yeah. stop you from, let's say, buying or using a tablet, though? I mean, having a, a device that's kind of in between. Uh, I'll I'll go for the note because uh, I like uh, smaller tablets. I don't like 10 inch factor. It's too big for me. Uh, I like I use a playbook. It's about seven, right? So that's fine. Mm. But uh, the note will be thinner, smaller. And uh, easier to carry around. Why not? Okay. Like uh, a comment. Uh, there's a comment in YouTube. It's saying like uh, Kevin Tan Hong An says, "Girls love it the most." The note. Is it because I it's love big? It. Do you like it because it's big, Gabby? Well, you know, size does matter, darling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. The thing is, when the note came out, I knew yeah. that people would like it. Are you guys over? <laughs> we we resorted to smuts. No, I mean, when it came out, I was like, you know, yeah, people love this, and a lot of people did. That's why it's selling millions of units. Um, what's in store with the next note, you know, we'll have to wait for Samsung to unveil it, it with a grand ceremony and, and um, user face. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by the chat. But... No, I don't get why you're so surprised it's it's doing this well. It's a great device. And well, it really phone. hit on, like what Vernon said, it's a surprise hit. It's but you see, you should have seen it as a phone or it's a, you know, there it's you a go. tablet. Yeah, I mean, it's for people who want to get tablets, but, you know, haven't committed yet. So they, they're getting a phone that they can use while they sort of try out the I tablet feature. You know what, I, I was... I, I was always on the school of thought where, you know, a 4-inch screen is the, the best, you know, anything bigger is, is wrong. But ever since I tried some of the bigger screen phones like the HTC One X and the S3, you know, my, my mind's been changed a bit. But you know what? 5.8-inch is, like, just bordering insane. But you know what? I said this about the original Note and look how well it is. So I clearly don't know anything about this. <laughs> Samsung has me, like, tipped there. I would agree with you at that 4 inches is perfect for a phone. You know, for a phone with these yeah. and two apps, maybe with uh, Twitter, with uh, Instagram, mm. but uh, once you go in, go into the note, you're using it for a lot of different things. You have your stylus if you want to use that too. Uh, you know, you can actually waste time on it. Is uh, you're doing a lot of other nonsense apart from making calls and all that. You know? mm -hmm. So, like I said, it's I got uh, a couple of friends who prefer it for traveling. Yeah. Over oh, like iPad. IPad. Yeah. What? Yeah. I, I I cannot. I I really can't brain it. I. I not not saying not putting you anyone down or or anything, but I just I just can't understand it because it's like for me it's phone it's phone tablet it's tablet. You know yeah, I mean? but but that's because we are very well versed in all these devices. We play with them all the time. Yeah. We use them all the time, and we have specific devices for specific tasks. You know. Yeah, uh, when you go back to the you know the regular guy he just wants to try the tablet, but he doesn't want to commit to that. Uh, one one of uh, my friends uh, you know, he was using a BlackBerry for a long time. Yeah. Uh, then he wanted to try uh, getting a tablet, but he wouldn't commit to a tablet. You know, he didn't want to uh, carry two big devices around, so he got the note instead. You know, he still gets his emails, his calls, and whatnot. Yeah. But he gets to play around with a bit more tablet -y functions in apps mm -hmm. and games and whatnot. And he's really happy with that now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you know, it, it's sort of a mid point for him. Uh, you know, who knows? Maybe next time he'll, uh, if he needs email more, he'll go back to BlackBerry and get a tablet. Or you know, if he feels like he wants to stay on uh, Android, he could get a smaller Android phone and a tablet maybe. Who knows? Okay, that's good. Uh, well, how about you, Sir Chinchao? What do you think? 
uh, Galaxy Note 2, yeah, it's going to carry on what the Note did uh, in the industry. It created a niche, like Vinan said, but, you know, that niche uh, proved to be very popular. Uh, it's going to have everything that you like in the Galaxy S3. You, you're looking at a quad core processor, probably one gig of RAM, uh, all the smart features built in, uh, maybe a more accurate digitizer, a better screen, uh, you know, pretty much predictable. I like the Note. Uh, I think it's a very good compromise between, again, a tablet and a phone. You really appreciate the screen size, especially when you're viewing um, pictures, uh, catching movies on the go, and also when you're surfing the web. Uh, it's really good. So, yeah, uh, it's just, this is just going to fly off the shelves. I, I, I foresee people lining up for this uh, yeah. when it comes yeah. up. Yeah. So what's your okay. limit? I mean, in terms of size, what do you guys think? What, 5.8? Is this like the final, final number that it's ever going to be? No, big. there'll never be the final number. Manufacturers will always going to be experimenting, finding that. So but imagine yeah. a 6.5 inch phone. I, exactly. Yeah, I, I think. Uh, gonna happen. No, I, I think there's going to be a Note 10.1 Note. So you know, oh, yeah, that's, that's a bit right. weird. The 10.1, you, know, you can make phone calls on it. Yeah. Too, so. <laughs> a bit weird. Oh. But why is Aaron so surprised? The original Samsung yeah. tab, you can Correct. make phone calls in there anyway. Yeah, yeah. that was yeah. stupid, right? <laughs> No, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. 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 saw one uncle doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. ah. <laughs> you look like an idiot. But okay, no, no. Your points. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm understanding where you guys are coming from, uh, But. But uh, I think 5.8 is the ceiling. Uh, I don't think the note's gonna go any bigger than that. Uh, technology, like history, is cyclical. You're gonna see things coming back. Things are gonna get smaller again, and they're gonna get bigger again. Yeah. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna have a sweet spot. So with regards to phones, uh, the sweet spot is below six inches, and then you have the hybrids, which are the seven inch tablets, and then you have the full on tablets, which are the ten inch and above. So I think uh, we're pretty oh, okay. much settled on that. Change. Uh, answer me this: Galaxy Note two or Nexus seven? Obviously, well, you you can't co compare you can't the two. Compare, you, really? Yeah, you can't compare you the two. Answer. No, no, you can't compare the two. Okay, let me finish this. You can't compare the two because number one, the Nexus Seven is a media consumption device. It's purely that it doesn't have 3G, it doesn't have a yep. rear camera, it doesn't have a, a lot of things. It doesn't pretend to be anything else other than a media consumption device. If you want to read books, All right. you want to watch TV shows, you want to watch movies, that's the device you go for. Yep. Uh, and the note is is a phone and a, and a tablet and everything else, so you, you can't compare. So I I have that. Both, I have both in my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> you have both in your pocket. You have yeah. very big pockets, brother. <laughs> I All have right. big ass. So, very deep. <laughs> Next, uh, we have a very very. Yeah, it was it is a, it is by by popular demand. You know what they've announced that you know what September twelfth new iPhone five. Is anyone excited for this? Yes. I I am not excited at all. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it because it's gonna be my first iPhone, so no, no. Oh, already. Uh, okay, 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 guys. Look, there's there's nothing else to look forward to. We already know how it looks like. We already know that it's gonna have four inches, we already know it's gonna run iOS six, which we already know what the features are. What else is new? Okay, they're probably gonna announce a new camera with whatever sensor, whatever that, that's gonna be in there, but there's nothing else that's new. So, and we discussed this to death already. I, I think uh, Apple is now at this stage where they need to really come up with something amazing or, you know, they're going to they're gonna lose the battle. I agree. It is not going to be anything super... Unless uh, they come out with something really magical, uh, <laughs> I, I don't foresee it being something special. But you know what? People are going to buy the shit out of it, though. I, I, I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing why I think Samsung is very dangerous. Uh, because with Apple, they relied on one person, Steve Jobs. With Samsung, Samsung doesn't have a face. It's a collective. It's a hive. So if one guy is gone, the, 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 the momentum is still, is still going. They will still hunger for... To, they will still be hungry to create more amazing products or more ridiculous products. And they have that room. They yep. can make crazy stupid products, they can make really great products and they can make products that uh, everybody that's cheap and, 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 and for the low end market. Mm -hmm. Apple has no leeway. They, they've always positioned themselves as premium, as what, 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 as Steve Jobs, as blah, blah, blah. They have nowhere to go. And now yep. Steve Jobs is not around. Uh, I mean, who's the new CEO? I forgot his name. Um, Tim Cook. 
Yeah, yeah. granted, he's doing an okay job, but you know, let's face it. Even the fanboys are saying he's not. He's not a Steve Jobs. Nobody right. is a Steve Jobs. Yeah, see, see, uh, see that's, that's it. That's it. That's 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 the fundamental thing that's wrong with Apple. When when Steve Jobs when Steve Jobs left Apple, Apple was what nothing, and then he came back and he made Apple to what it is today, right? And then that's he's right. gone, and and there's no successor. So so you know. Yeah. So but let me let me give let me give the Apple fanboy a chance to talk because you know what he's probably the only <laughs> one of the only ones who are excited about this. Vernon, uh, what do you think? I thought you were the Apple fanboy. <laughs> I I think the new iPhone is only really bullshit, man. It's not <laughs> I'll I'll, come, I'll go on record now and say that my next phone will not be an iPhone. It will be. Uh, yeah, a Windows phone. Yeah. Me go, me go. It will be me go. Just for fun, I'll, it will be me go. <laughs> 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 Buy me a Note 2 and I'll use it. No, I won't. Uh, <laughs> I'm, just I'm actually looking forward to the iPhone 5. I think uh, it may be a make or break uh, for Apple in the, in, in the, in the phone space, uh, at least for, for the coming couple of years. Um, but I've skipped a couple of generations of iPhones. You know, I stopped at 3GS. Why? Because I wanted to try other stuff. Um, but uh, I think, like, like you guys say, even though it doesn't, you know, um, bring anything new to the plate? I don't believe so. Uh, but I think it's still going to sell loads. It's still going to sell millions of units. Um, but I think let the consumers decide. I think they will... I, I'm with you on that. It will sell a shit ton. Because why? The color of Apple. You know what? People are just waiting for the iPhone 5. People have been asking me, when's the iPhone 5 coming out? When's the iPhone 5 coming out? Even before they knew what, what it looks like. You know, what, what it looks like. What's the specs? They don't care. It's the next iPhone. You can well, even win in lucky draw. In that sense, <laughs> in that sense, that the Steve Jobs is still with Apple. In the sense that you know what he has created this cult, this uh, this fan base that is ne- is gonna be loyal to Apple no matter what. So, yeah. And and I don't agree that that Apple is only about Steve Jobs. I think what what Steve Jobs did was build a team, and he's got a great team. Maybe what lacks in Apple is probably the vision, and Tim Cook doesn't have that, as, as obviously as, as some of you guys said. Yeah. Um, but I think what's been laid out for the next couple of three to five years, it's already there. And w- yeah. we're going to see some, some great products that are going to come up from Apple soon. So. All right. I'll, go on record as, I'll go on record as saying I'm not buying it, but I'm sure a crap <laughs> ton of people are going to buy it. Yeah, that's <laughs> for sure. That's for well, sure. That's yeah. why I said my iPhone 4. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I, did, <laughs> I did buy my iPhone 4, okay? It you got it free, isn't it? It was a okay. uh, Lucky you. Screw you, Wenshin. Screw you. <laughs> you know too much about my life. I, w- I want to know what Wenshin thinks. Yeah, I want to know what Wenshin thinks, whether he really gives a shit. Honestly, <laughs> I have to agree with Amin on a lot of things, uh, like what he said about uh, Samsung being different from Apple. I mean, Samsung, they changed their CEO, and that didn't change anything. Um, <laughs> Apple Apple didn't make as much as projected, and everyone's calling it, you know, a failure. It's horrible, it's a failure, yeah. and all that. Hmm. So, you know, Apple have set themselves this sort of standard. Mm. But based on history, we all know that Apple iOS devices will never change the interface. They will have, you know, what they've been doing all this while is just fixing things, fixing things, you know, adding copy paste, adding this, adding that, adding this, adding that. Nothing really changes. So every new iPhone looks the same in terms of, uh, you know, interface. User interface. Yeah, and uh, whereby like uh, Android, you know, is changed from 2.1 to 2.3 to, uh, you know, n- now ice cream sandwich is a lot more different. Um, so I guess that is one of the things that uh, Samsung has uh, over Apple in that sense. Uh, and also like what Lucas says, people will buy the iPhone anyway. They will be lining up overnight just to be the first to get one in Malaysia and whatnot. Uh, but what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how well do I think the iPhone 5 will do, right? Mm. Uh, I just asked you what you thought, but okay, go on. Well, I think... The I- iPhone 5 would be an iPhone 5, you know. Nothing much to shout about. <laughs> it may not be an iPhone 5. It may be called uh, it a... Be hey, you and Vernon can question and answer together. Lah. You'd, you'd be perfect for each other. <laughs> yeah, we'll just I'm not excited at all. all. I mean, iPhone is an iPhone is an iPhone, right? Yeah. I'll, give yeah. it to, I'll give it to Apple, okay? The, their, their laptops are nice to use. I use a MacBook Pro, too. But I ditched the iPhone a long time ago. I just recently took out my iPhone 3 um, from the drawer and I'm using it as an iPod now, so 
Uh, bro, wow. I can't I can't play anything on the phone anymore <laughs> because yeah, things have moved so fast, you know. But yeah. uh, really, I can't do anything with it besides making an iPod. I bet you it won't be called the iPhone five. It will be called the next iPhone. The newer iPhone. The newer iPhone. Yeah. 10. See, but see, that's the thing. This is the thing that Apple wants you to be in. These are the discussions that Apple wants you. It's not the important discussion. It's like what's the name. Yeah. <laughs> Whether it has bigger glass or thinner glass, it doesn't matter. I mean, what is it bringing to the consumer? But that's yeah. Apple, you know, it's all about the marketing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. but the thing is, I mean, uh, how, how, how much longer are we going to be blind to it? I mean, you know, some people have realized it and they moved on to Android. Oh, see, we know for that. More, for more substance, right? So, I don't know. <laughs> Again. So we, we know that, but to the, to the average Tom Dick and Harry, average Malaysian, they care about two things. Is it thinner or is it faster? <laughs> You know, this don't and really. And how much? And thinner, faster. No, if it's an Apple device, they don't care how much it is. That's true. Thinner, faster. You know, now it, oh. No, no. The majority, the majority cares. You you look at the long lines. You look at the overnight stays, right? That's just a impression. You look at the core market, right? That's why Samsung is selling more devices. There are more Samsung smartphones in the market than Apple smartphones because Samsung has more phones across a broader range of prices. And that's why people are buying them. It's not you look at the lines. That's just a, an illusion. I'm sorry to say. I mean, it's amazing to see, but it's just an illusion. So. But whatever it is, Lara.net will be covering the launch of. That. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll definitely have another hangout for that, dude. Yeah, that's and true. I just want to make it clear. Right? I'm not an Apple hater. I mean, I was excited when the iPhone iPhone 4 came out. You can read my article on uh, on Sergeant.com. We were really stoked to buy. We, I don't know what we call it. We call it amazing. I mean, they 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 made a phone out of glass. How amazing was that, right? Not amazing to the people who dropped it, lah. <laughs> oh, don't remind me. But yeah, when I'm just, the store. I'm not a hater. I used to admire them, but I'm I'm just disappointed. Seriously, I'm just. Would you disappointed. say you're a realist? A realist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say that definitely. Okay. I, I agree with you, Chinch. I mean, like uh, Apple. I, I would say. Yeah, go what on, else do you expect from the company? It's, they've been doing this a few no, years. No, I, I expect now, so you know? much more. I expect okay. Apple to be Apple. I expect Apple to wow me like they did before. I expect them to wow me when they wow me in the 3GS, when they wow me with the 4, when they wow me with the iPad, Retina and wow the MacBook Air. I was, I was amazed with all those things. Yep. Right now, I'm not amazed anymore. I will agree with you 100% because you know what, we had this conversation before, yeah. I was thinking about it, I thought you were crazy, but you know what, <laughs> I, I, I do agree with you in the sense that, you know what, I have not been wowed for a long time, but for me it's different because I was wowed by the regular display MacBook Pro, that was <laughs> an amazing device, and you know what, if I hadn't had bought a MacBook Pro already, I would have one, I'd be talking to you one on one now. I can't play Dota on it. <laughs> oh, hey, I can, okay? See, see, that's, see that's, the that's the thing. That's the that's the thing that Apple wants you to focus on. A higher resolution display. Is that innovation? Some people might say yes, but I don't think so. What does that do to you? Talk to talk how, to how, creative. No, okay, wait. Think about it, right? How does that change things? The iPad was revolutionary because it changes things. It changes how people consume the internet, it changes how doctors work with patients, it changes a lot of things. How does a high resolution device change things? It doesn't. Yes, it does. A creative talk to the entire creative industry. Vernon, a high resolution. No, uh, the record creative record industry. Record. Okay, fine. The creative industry. What? What about to doctors? What about to children? It's not for children. doctors. It's not no, for no. That's that's doctors. the thing. That's that's it's what I'm saying. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. go, go, go. The Retina display was no innovation on Apple's side. <laughs> it was a new product from the supplier that makes from, displays. Yes. Yeah, I have really? high I have a high resolution display. You have to use it now. Oh sure. Yeah, it was from Hitachi or something crap like that, right? So know. how so how is that a revolution from, from Apple? Sure. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Agree thanks thanks a lot, Wisha, for that. That's the thing I don't yes, understand. But, uh, so if it was that way, why why doesn't anyone come up with it? Because you know what? Creative okay. this is this is marketed and targeted to the creative industry, to, to photographers, to videographers. How many videographers have gist in their pants? When they saw a regular display, oh my god, they can display a 10 yeah, inch screen. Right. How, how, many, display? how many studios have 30 inch yeah. uh, cinema displays next to yeah. their Mac anyway? Yeah. yeah so how much money would that really make? And you produce, you, produce, you produce that, right? How many yeah. people can consume that? I mean, we're still running 720p uh, displays. Do you really need a whatever retina display screen? Yes, the, the point being, it's, it's not for a main machine. It's for, you know, those studios who want to be edit on the go. You know, I, I, that's the target market. It's definitely not for everyone. 
You know, I, I would never recommend it for everyone. That's why they have MacBook Pro. The MacBook, the, the what? Yeah, so you know? then it's back to what I'm saying. How does it change things? It doesn't change anything. Well, I if it's not for everyone, it doesn't change anything. The it makes things sharper and more detailed. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, but look, 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 the iPod, look at the iPod, right? It changes everything. It changes the music industry, right? Uh, look, and it, it created <laughs> Nike Plus. What does a higher resolution device do to human it makes mind? Nothing. You see things clearer. I was gonna say, Vernon, help me out here, but I decided not to. BI professionals get to have more airbrush projects. <laughs> For me, right? I would. So, but, but have you guys have you guys seen it or not? I mean, have you guys seen the screen or not? Yeah, yeah. I saw I saw I saw the Retina display iPad. I saw the Retina display MacBook. I was like, okay, is this it? Fine. Put it back down. I mean, like what? Possible editing suite. How is that not cool? Dude, you you have you put enough power in a laptop, you in a Mac in a in a PC, right? You still can do the same thing. I'll be without the resolution. Fine, whatever. But that's the another important part. Why why is it important? Again, why is it important? It is, it is important. Have you edited like Final Cut? No. On your no, I understand. But the thing is, are you are you making an IMAX movie? No, you're just but making it. You're making a YouTube movie that has 1280p or 720p. Most screens can but run 720p about, anyway. But what about the guys making 4K? 4K movies, you know what I mean? Red, red footage. I'm not okay. arguing that... How it's much <laughs> would they use uh, mobile, doing mobile Hey, you never know, dude. There was no, do okay, mobile do, dude, okay, no, Wenshin and Luke. Okay, Wenshin and Luke, you guys do edits, right? You do edits at Starbucks. No, you go into a suite. Why do you go into a suite? Why do you go into a suite? You go into a suite because that's the environment. It makes you more creative. Dude, right? I would be a I'm more creative shit in Starbucks. Do my <laughs> if I had a Retina Display Mega Pro, I would have my tablet out and I'd be like, yeah, Retina Display. But Hell yes, yeah. when it comes to doing edits uh, remotely, I've done a lot of edits, uh, event event coverage. But it's not major, hotel, right? From hotel, it's not major, it's, it's, yeah. it's iMovie again. Okay. I'll give you that. But <laughs> I, don't, I don't carry uh, a high-res camera anyway, so that's, that doesn't really apply to me. I don't have uh, personally. I don't have any use for such a high resolution display. And yeah, so I mean, I honestly can't call it revolutionary. What I feel personally is that if you want a high high resolution display, you buy a high resolution display. That's it. Uh, yeah. I yeah, you need a high, okay. If you wanna you wanna make most use of the high res display, right? Like one said, you need a high res input, right? And the IMAX or Hasselblad or whatever shit. <laughs> Your alpha are not going to cut it, man. Your alpha are not going to cut it, right? So what the hell? Your alpha. I'm sorry, your alpha. Oh, sorry, sorry. yes, my alpha. Your alpha. <laughs> I can even shoot video on that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like, okay, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not, you know, I'm not discounting the fact that you guys have a point. But I'm saying that this is uh, a targeted. It, it, oh wow! Oh, oh yeah, yeah. wow! You know what we call that? Rage quit. <laughs> Rage quit. But yeah, no, Wenchen, like uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not saying that you're you're wrong or anything. But it's just mm. I believe that it was targeted to the specific market. And that yes, creative professionals, please tell me, like you know, anyone who's creative, tell me, would you buy uh, a Retina Display MacBook Pro for uh, for portable usage? Like I can I can tell you, like uh. Like say, if I'm on a job and the uh, client needs images fast, it will make my life so much easier. Like to have a powerful, this powerful enough laptop plus an amazing display to do my edits on the go. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who who does that. Yeah, I know. I understand that part. But just to, I mean, I understand where Amit is coming from too. The way you're describing it is, it is revolutionary to your niche, to your use. But we can't call it revolutionary if. No, only one group of people hmm. use it and can find it that useful. Okay. No, I will agree Welcome to Welcome back, I'm in. Welcome back. I don't see him, though. <laughs> well, yeah, we, we will agree to disagree there. I mean, uh, I see your point. It's not revolutionary to everyone, but it sure has, I bet you, it has revolutionized the creative industry. Did you hear that? I mean, I agree to disagree with you. <laughs> I don't see how it revolutionizes anything, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, no, no. We, we've said it doesn't revolutionize everyone, but it does revolutionize a niche industry. <laughs> Again, <laughs> how? How does it do that? I don't understand, but oh, whatever. Oh, we're back! <laughs> whatever. Yeah, one of the things in YouTube was like saying, you know, a high resolution display means reduction in eye fatigue. 
Uh, I don't think so. Uh, Anwar Arifin. Uh, Helps you read better as well, I think. You know what? I think it might actually make me strain my eyes a lot more because I'm a bit blind, so I have to like really squint and see small. You, with, with, with higher resolution stuff, right? Okay, you want to push the uh, retina display. You need more bandwidth to push out the pictures on a website. You need more bandwidth to push out the videos on YouTube. Okay. Uh, Nazrin, mm. tell me, would you use a retina display MacBook Pro? Mm. Um, iPad, yes. MacBook Pro, I'm not too sure. Um, <laughs> I mean, it, it really... Uh, I have a few designer friends who really love the Retina display on the MacBook Pro. Yes. <laughs> they, 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 I mean, these guys are industry, industry designers, not just comic book artists or whatnot. Mm -hmm. These guys work on signboard buildings and whatsoever. So they say that the higher resolution actually makes it easier for them to design things mm -hmm. because the pixels are so compressed. And you know, that that being said, it, 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 and and plus the color, uh, the most important thing is the color actually. Mm -hmm. The color reproduction is so good that they said that uh, you know you might as well just have a cinema display monitor in front of you in a 15 inch compactor. So mm -hmm. if, if you say that, it, Apple must be doing something right then. Yeah. Uh, how about the price? You know, I, I just saw a <coughs> comment uh, with the price. 6.8K. Uh, it's, it's steep. Very, very steep. I don't think it's steep though. I, I don't I, either. <laughs> I don't think it's for steep. The, for, the, for the spec of the entire machine, for the spec, I yeah. think you know, it doesn't come to the quarter. 6.8 is the entry level, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's the entry level. It's I don't think it's out. expensive for that for that spec. I don't either. I'm with you, Vernon. I know. It's At this day and age, when you can get a... Uh, for spec, it's not... <coughs> I, compare it to uh, the uh, the Mac, the Apple line. Not Don't compare it to a PC. <laughs> yeah, if you compare it to an Apple line. Right? I, I actually expected it to be uh, priced <laughs> higher. Yeah, I expected 10K, at least. Yeah. Oh, what the hell, man? <laughs> we're in like the the twenty twenty. We're twenty twelve now. We're not in like the nineteen nineties where you buy laptop <laughs> for like fourteen k. Yeah, yeah. The new MacBook Pro with Retina display um, heat up as fast as the previous MacBook Pros. I don't. I don't have one, so I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think so. You know, I I will ask, but I don't think the, so. The biggest problem with MacBook Pros, in my experience, is that it's a giant heat sink. Oh, it is. I, I, will, I will agree with that, definitely, because you know what? I have burned my lap so many times. <laughs> I'm burning my lap right now because it's, <laughs> it's at 90 degrees. That's, that's the problem with MacBook. So it's at 90 degrees right now. The price uh, you pay Better for... Think about the future for that. children. <laughs> 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 okay, so let's wrap that up. And um, Do we have any Just user like questions? Do we have any user questions? I let me. There's oh, no question. No question. No. Oh, just like Come a body press conference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. No question. Hey, I ask questions. <laughs> okay. So you know what? we I mean, thanks for joining us. Uh, it's been quite an interesting, interesting hangout. I mean, for the 30, 40, 50, 20 people who have joined us. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, you know what? Uh, why don't we just have our shout outs? Uh, let's switch on our. Uh, our overlays again. Oh shit. My overlay <laughs> doesn't work. My overlay. Uh, my overlay doesn't work. Terrible. Slow and you are. Wow, Winston, you have your overlay already. So anyway, uh, <laughs> why not? prepared. Oh, oh no, it's not my overlay. Uh, la, ma. Okay, uh, my, my, overlay is, my overlay is... My overlay is officially not working. Okay, so you know what? Uh, change, give us a shout out. Hello everybody, this is SoyChicha.com. My name is Amin Ashari. You can follow me at AminAshari.com on Twitter or you can follow my website um, at Soya underscore Chinchao. Uh, you can visit SoyChicha.com. Again, I'm not an Apple hater. Like Luke said, okay. I'm a realist. So, yo, please don't hate me. <laughs> I didn't say anything on that. Thanks for watching uh, the Hangout. I hope you guys come out, uh, come out and join us for more Hangouts in the future and, you know, Please do ask questions. Thanks very much. All right. Uh, next, we have uh, Chan Wenshen, Patam Auto Man. Give us a shout out. Hi, I'm Wenshen. Uh, thanks for watching this show and bearing with our nonsense. <laughs> uh, follow my Twitter if you want to see more nonsense. Um, don't, don't, don't look at my website. I don't have one. <laughs> you do have one. So cute, la, <laughs> uh, so cute la. Uh, Let's, let, 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 let's play Dota. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, open up. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Okay, so next we have uh, Gabby Go. Hi, I'm Gabby. Twitter oh, handle's oh. there. Everyone knows you're Gabby already. <laughs> yeah, thanks for joining us, guys. Sorry we rambled again, but we kept it under an hour and a half. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's under an hour and a half. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So we're so, getting uh, better. Next, uh, we have uh, Nazrin. Uh, go. Yep. Hi, guys. Um, thanks for joining us for today's hangout. Um, sorry, I couldn't see much because my computer is giving me a lot of problems today. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can catch me at, at UHC86 on Twitter and have a website on at uh, www.chip.com.my. And yeah, that's about it. Lovely. Next, we have Vernon Chan, live from Sahil. Go, Vernon. Hello. Uh, here's Vernon uh, from VernonChan.com. You can find me also on Twitter, VernonMan. Thanks for joining us. It's been fun. Uh, thanks to the team who's been controlling our time and stuff. It's been yeah. great. I think it's going to only get better. So we'll see you in the next Hangout, man. All right. And for me, uh, you can catch us at Liar.net, www.liar.net, or you can go to YouTube and check out Liar.tv. Uh, it's Liar TV, by the way. Uh, I'm Lucas. You can catch me at Luke underscore Sohow. My overlay doesn't seem to be working. Uh, big thanks to our two producers behind the scenes, uh, Chapri and Sharil, uh, at Chapri and at Murang Laud. Uh, one, yeah, but I'm sorry we didn't manage to keep it under one hour, but I hope, uh, anyway, things can only get better, like I said, uh, with the spawn from Google, with uh, all the new things they're bringing up. Uh, let's hope that everything, you know, things, even next two weeks will be even better. And this is a Vernon answer, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, see you next time. Over and out. Ciao. Bye.